In this video, we will explore the use of secondary leading tone chords in major keys. Like secondary dominants, secondary leading tone chords function within a key while providing chromaticism. In a major key, the diatonic leading tone chords are the 7 diminished triad and the 7 half diminished 7th chord. In a minor key, the diatonic leading tone chords are the 7 diminished triad and the 7 fully diminished 7th chord. The 7 fully diminished 7th chord is diatonic to the harmonic minor scale. It is possible to have a 7 half diminished 7th chord in minor that is derived from the melodic minor scale, but this is not typical. Let's define the term secondary leading tone. The word leading tone refers to the note that is a minor second below the tonic in a major or minor key. In solfege, tonic is do and the leading tone is T. The root of any leading tone chord will be the leading tone of the key. The role of the leading tone chord, like the dominant chord, is to pull back to the tonic, also known as the one chord, and make it feel like the home chord of the key. The term secondary leading tone refers to a leading tone chord that is not 7 in the key. Like a secondary dominant chord, a secondary leading tone chord is a 7 that leads to a chord other than 1 in a major or minor key. Here we have the diatonic triads in the key of C major. The chords are named as follows. And they receive the following Roman numeral analysis. We will notate the leading tone triads that lead to each of these diatonic triads. Let's first notate the leading tone triad. This will be B diminished. Any major or minor chord in a key can be preceded by a secondary leading tone chord that makes that chord temporarily feel like one the tonic chord of the key. Like with secondary dominance, the term for this is tonicize. A secondary leading tone chord tonicizes a chord other than one. To find the secondary leading tone chord of D minor, we find the seven diminished chord in the key of D, which is always a minor second below. Therefore, the seven diminished chord of D minor is C sharp diminished. We analyze this chord as 7 diminished of 2. Notice that the C-sharp diminished chord has a chromatic note, the C-sharp. Since secondary leaning tone chords are chromatic chords, we expect one or more accidental. We expect that the 7 diminished of 2 will lead to 2. Next, we will find the 7 diminished of 3. We find the 7 diminished chord in the key of E, which is a minor second below E. This is D sharp diminished, and the notes are D sharp, F sharp, and A. Next, we find the 7 diminished of 4. We find the 7 diminished chord in the key of F, which is a minor second below F. This is E diminished, and the notes are E, G, and B flat. Next, we will find the 7 diminished of 5. We find the 7 diminished chord in the key of G, which is a minor second below G. This is F sharp diminished, and the notes are F sharp, A, and C. Next, we will find the 7 diminished of 6. We find the 7 diminished chord in the key of A, which is a minor second below A. This is G sharp diminished and the notes are G sharp, B, and D. Since 7 diminished is a diminished triad, it will not feel like 1 in a major or minor key. Therefore, there is no 7 diminished of 7 diminished. These Roman numerals will transfer to any major key. A secondary leading tone chord is always found a minor second below its chord of resolution. Here are the secondary leading tone chords and their chords of resolution in the key of A. Here are the secondary leading tone chords and their chords of resolution in the key of E flat. 
Now let's explore secondary leading tone chords and their sevenths. As we studied in a previous lesson, when adding sevenths to diminished triads, we come up with two possible chords, the half diminished seventh chord and the fully diminished seventh chord. The half diminished seventh chord is the leading tone chord, Roman numeral seven half diminished seven, that comes from the major scale. This chord is a diminished triad with an added minor seventh interval. The fully diminished seventh chord is the leading tone chord, Roman numeral seven fully diminished seven, that comes out of the harmonic minor scale. When using secondary leading tone chords, half diminished seventh chords can lead to major chords. Here we have the seven half diminished seven of four and the seven half diminished seven of five with their chords of resolution. Since the leading tone chord in a major key is seven half diminished seven, this chord reflects the sound of the major tonality and therefore seven half diminished seven is an appropriate secondary leading tone chord to a major chord that is not one. Since fully diminished seven chords come from the minor tonality, they logically lead to minor chords. Here we have the seven fully diminished seven of two, the seven fully diminished seven of three, and the seven fully diminished seven of six, along with their chords of resolution. Fully diminished seventh chords are strong chords with two interlocking tritone intervals. These tritones want to resolve inward in the following manner. It is not uncommon for composers to use fully diminished seventh chords to lead to major chords as well as minor chords. Let's summarize. The seven diminished triad is a leading tone chord in both major and minor keys. When seventh chords are used, the half diminished seventh chord is the diatonic leading tone chord in a major key, and the fully diminished seventh chord is a typical leading tone chord in a minor key. A secondary leading tone chord is a diminished triad, half diminished seventh chord, or fully diminished seventh chord that leads to a chord other than one in a major or minor key. A secondary leading tone chord is the seven diminished of the chord of resolution and can be found a minor second below its chord of resolution. In a major key, each secondary leading tone chord can be a triad. When the seventh is used, a half diminished seventh is often paired with a major chord, and a fully diminished seventh chord is paired with a minor chord. However, it is common for fully diminished seventh chords to lead to both major and minor chords of resolution.